Yeah, President Biden feels confident in saying that he believes Russia will, in fact, invade the Ukraine. And even though the United States is not directly involved in the conflict, the effects of an invasion are far-reaching globally in many sectors, including the energy sector. So if you believe that $4.77 uh, a gallon here in California is a lot of money, well, economists only believe it will get worse. To be clear, if Russia decides to invade, that would also have consequences here at home. One of the most glaring consequences would be on oil and natural gas. On Tuesday, President Joe Biden gave a warning to Americans. I will not pretend this will be painless. There could be impact on our energy prices. Russia is the third largest oil producer in the world, and any disruption in oil flow or harsh economic sanctions due to an invasion could mean skyrocketing energy prices. We're coordinating with major energy, con energy consumers and producers. We're prepared to deploy all the tools and authority at our disposal to provide relief at the gas pump. Federal relief could come in the form of gas tax cuts. In California, the Associated Press reports Sacramento lawmakers are hesitant to halt a gas tax increase set to take effect in July. This is a really big deal. This is a superpower, Russia, invading one of its neighbors and right on NATO's doorstep. KTLA consumer expert David Lazarus says OPEC will likely not step up production to meet demand, leading to price jumps. You see it running up. Some analysts believe they can go as high as $100 to $150 a barrel for oil, which means for you... An average of $7 a, uh, a gallon at the pump, which means, again, in California, you could be looking at $8 a gallon, maybe even $9 a gallon at that level. So that's very, very troublesome. When you hear that, it's the first thing to come to mind. <laughs> Drivers in Studio City say this kind of increase will change the way they move around town. Yeah, I'd either have to hustle, I would have to hustle harder and drive less. There you go. And then and, and probably invest in a Tesla. I think it's going to set people back um, with their jobs and maybe re, because I know a lot of people just drive for their jobs. And it's not just energy prices that will go up. Semiconductors, food and fertilizer are also expected to increase with two of its major producers possibly at war. And something to keep in mind is Wall Street does not like uncertainty and war does bring uncertainty. So you can expect stocks to take a hit. Goldman Sachs right now is predicting a decline of 5% in U.S. equities. And a lot of you out there are 401ks, those retirement plans, you can expect that to take a hit as well. Reporting live in Studio City, Pedro Vera, KTLA 5 News.